Hey, how's it going? It is uh, Ken Poirier, the King Premier here on YouTube. Um, so I got a new phone recently and it's got all this biometric stuff in it, which is not really all about that, um, but whatever. Um, but I wanted to uh, use it as a segue to talk about robo prejudice. Um, and, and what that is. Um, so robo prejudice is, is prejudice against robots, machines, and other things. Uh, I also like to call it John Henry synd syndrome, where it's, uh, you know, basically you think that the robots are gonna, gonna, uh, ruin the, the planet. Um, and that's not the case because see the, the robots, they just do what, what we designed them to do. Um, and it's all about the intentions you have when you're, when you're designing these robots. But the main reason why, um, people get upset about it is because of the culture in which we live, um, in which our, our, uh, means of sustenance, which you can look that up, but it, it means staying alive. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, means substance, means substance. Um, <laughs> and we come up with a lot of those like song definitions when you're in college and you got to memorize all sorts of terms. Um, so the means of substance uh, in, in our culture is based off of labor, right? So you're supposed to produce labor and then in return for your labor, you're supposed to, um, you know, receive money and that money is supposed to reflect the value of the labor for which you produce and um you know uh if you don't produce labor of enough value then you die that's that's our system in this country and it's a terrible system and it's awful and it's part of the reason why i got so upset uh a couple of weeks ago when my phone broke and i couldn't work because uh i, I need a phone to work that's because that's 2017 and you know um it's an app. I work on, I work on my freaking phone. Um, I don't have an office with a bathroom. That would be great. Um, but, uh, but anyway, uh, it was devastating. It was just, and I didn't have enough money to buy a new phone and I couldn't work to get the money to buy a new phone. It was a vicious downward spiral. Um, and I had all these bills to pay. So, uh, that's the other thing. I got to pay bills to work and Anyway, so when a robot comes in and takes a job, people get upset. Just like historically, whenever anybody comes in to take a job, people get upset. And originally that was, you know, um, we had, uh, you know, immigration. Before immigration, we had, oh, well, actually, after immigration, because I guess we, that's... So immigration was one of the early problems, immigrants coming in and taking jobs. And that was fine when we needed to, we didn't have enough jobs. And it's a cycle that, that goes back and forth. Um, you know, so the same reason why people are upset about robots taking jobs, same reason why they're upset about the immigrants taking jobs or, you know, um, and we had gender segregated uh, work in this country, we had race segregated work in this country in our history. Um, and, uh, now we're having, uh, technologically separated, technologically separated work in this country. Things that used to be considered skilled labor are no longer considered skilled labor because the robots performing the skill and if a robot can do it, well, it's not, must not really be a skill, right? So, um, so anyways, but it's all comes down to this idea of the means sustenance, you know, and the fact that, um, having to produce income is the only way it's the only way in this country, uh, unless you're like me and you're like, no, I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to try every possible other thing in the books to, to avoid that, um, <laughs> and it's, it's not a good thing. And man, terrible stuff will happen to you. Like, I, 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 it's almost like I wanted to see how bad it really was. What, you know, that was my philosophical pondering. What if I, you know, you wanted to, to, to find a means of sustenance other than earning an income? And let me tell you, there's not 
any good options at all. Zero. It's possible. It can be done, but God, you'll just want to, you'll really, you'll not sit well right with life. Um, if you try them for too long, you know, short, short sprints, tours, um, which is what most people do. It's, uh, what do they call it? Uh, um, social tourism, um, you know, where you go live with somebody else for a little while. Um, you know, everybody, you know, likes to be homeless for a year to write a book about it. Nobody likes to be homeless for five years. Um, or they just got used to it, you know. Um, but they'll always pretty much agree that having walls and a bed is, 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 a, is a great improvement. Um, but yeah, so uh, when the robots come in and take our means of sustenance away, uh, that's where the issue comes in. That's where all these prejudices always come from. You know, women are taking the jobs, so now men can't get the jobs, or, Blacks are taking the jobs, so now whites can't get the jobs. Mexicans are taking the jobs, so Americans can't get the jobs. Robots are taking the jobs, so nobody can get the jobs. Um, and, and historically, what we've done in this country when these things happen is we have a bunch of violent riots until we come up pass some sort of law um, saying that uh, we need to do something else with our lives. Um, well, can't we skip that part this time? That's what I'm saying. Like, like the robot technological revolution, it's coming. I studied in college. I thought, you know, oh, it's you know, decades away. It's, no, it's already here. The only reason why um, people aren't investing more money in it is because it was in cla collapse our nation overnight, man. I'm not joking. Um, so we need to come up with a solution. That's what this video is about. It's saying, all right, and this is also to show that these, you know, I mean, you know, we think uh, these prejudices we have are about sex or race or gender or whatever. Um, but it's not. It's, be, it's, it's it, you know, because ro what's a robot? A robot that's an appliance. Like, how can you be racist against an appliance, right? Um, you can't, right? Because it's an object. It's, it's, it's insanity. And so is all these other prejudices because, um, you know, it's not, it's, nobody cares about these things like skin color or gender. And nobody really gives a crap uh, for the most part until uh, it's, it's impacting their means of sustenance. And then people get upset, you know. Um, and then you have these violent outbursts like we're seeing in our country it's because everybody knows this is what's going down. So how do we solve this problem? You know, that's and, and and a lot of people want to talk about taxes and blah 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 blah. But in the end, uh, it's our it's our system. Our system can't survive. Well, people can't survive in the system we have with the changes that are happening technologically. Um, and so, therefore, we have to change the system. We have to like. We have to have a culture realization that um, that we the system that we have and the, the ideals and the morals that come along with it uh, they're they're not particularly good. They were good for a time in which those moral, morals increased our means of substance instead of diminished them. So now that our 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 our, our means are being diminished. We need to come up with a new system to to uh, better allocate the basic uh, means uh, for people. You know, uh, the internet's good. It gives us a lot of opportunities to create and produce and productivity through the roof. I mean, a lot of people like are just doing things because they need to be done. But if it, they can't do that, if they're dying on the streets, right? And that's what we got to stop here. And we really, really, as a nation, um, need to start thinking about this. And instead of going these old ways with the fascism and closing the borders, and doing all this stuff, we need to come up with a new way um, to 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 evaluate um, and and show a basic respect for people who live in this country. Um, regardless of what your paperwork says, uh, and 
So yeah, spent 10 minutes to change the world. I just realized it's been 10 minutes. And if everybody listens to that, it'll change the world. So I hope you do. Thank you. Uh, 10 minutes to change the world. Robo, robo prejudice. Thank you. Uh, the King for Mayor. Subscribe. There's like a button somewhere on the screen now. I, I would imagine. Like, is it over there? Is it over there? Where'd I put it? I don't know. But hit that subscribe button and uh, please check out the other 10 minutes to change the world videos. Thank you very much.